Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Please stand for the national anthem of the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago. Please remain standing for the invocation. Heavenly Father, we thank you for safely gathering all of us today at this live draw for the distribution of lots to former Petrotrin employees. May you bestow your guidance and blessings on us so that we can appreciate the significance of this event in our lives. Father, bless all of the endeavors of the Ministry of Energy and Energy Industries, the Ministry of Housing and Urban Development, and the Land Settlement Agency. Through your intervention, May any activities related to this event be successful. We ask all of this in your name. Amen. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Please take your seats. Before we be begin today's proceedings, I would like to take a moment to acknowledge the presence of the Honorable Camille Robinson Regis, the Minister of Housing and Urban Development. Mrs. Claire Davidson Williams, the Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Housing and Urban Development. Mrs. Numala Ram Logan, the Deputy Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Housing and Urban Development. Mr. Wayne Innes, the Chairman of the Land Settlement Agency. Mr. Hazar Hussein, the CEO of the Land Settlement Agency. Mr. Nicholas Hunt, Senior Manager, Petrotrin. Ms. Therese Austin, International and Policy Liaison Officer, Ministry of Energy and Energy Industries members of the media and of course the viewing public. I am Paige De Leon and I have the distinct pleasure of taking you through this morning's live draw for the distribution of lots to former Petrotrin employees. This event is a continuation of the efforts of various stakeholders involved in this program. The Prime Minister launched this program in 2020 for former employees of Petrotrin who were terminated in November of 2018 as a result of the closure of the refinery and the restructuring of the exploration and production activities of Petrotrin. The Honorable Camille Robinson Regis, the Honorable Adrian Leonce, PS Ms. Davidson Williams of the Ministry of Housing and Urban Development, the Chairman and CEO of the Land Settlement Agency, and the technocrats of the ministries all played a pivotal role in getting us to this point. We thank you all for your efforts. Ladies and gentlemen, join me as we warmly welcome our first speaker today, Mr. Wayne Innes, the Chairman of the Land Settlement Agency, who will welcome us. Thank you very kindly, Madam Chairperson. Honorable Camille Robinson Regis, Minister of Housing and Urban Development. Honorable Adrian Leons, Minister in the Ministry of Housing and Urban Development. Mrs. Claire Davidson Williams, Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Housing and Urban Development. Mrs. Nirmala Ramlagan, Deputy Permanent Secretary, Ministry of Housing and Urban Development. Mr. Hazar Hussein, CEO of the Land Settlement Agency. Mr. Nicholas Hunt, manager, senior manager at Petrotrin. Mrs. Therese Austin, international and policy liaison officer, Ministry of Energy 
and energy industries. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, members of the media, and of course, former Petrotrain employees who are recipients of today's draw. A very warm welcome to you all, as it is indeed a great pleasure to welcome you to this draw for the distribution of lots to former Petrotrain workers. At today's draw, we'll utilize a random selection method to choose 21 names of former Petrotrain employees from a list of approximately 1,400 who have qualified under the criteria for distribution. These persons will be in the second group of applicants to be allocated as promised by the Prime Minister, the Honorable Keith Rowley and the Government of the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago. Residential lots situated at the Guayaguari area of La Savan and Nurseries. Ladies and gentlemen, on December 17th, 2018, the Honorable Prime Minister outlined several measures aimed at providing support to former employees of Petrotrain. One of these measures is to provide an opportunity for former employees to own service housing lots through an aided self-help approach. Today, we are pleased to host another draw to real, as we continue to realize the government's promise to these former Petrotrain workers. As we continue to roll out this program, we are grateful to have you join us today to witness this momentous effort. Best of luck to all applicants, and I trust that you enjoy the rest of today's proceedings. So thank you kindly. Thank you, Mr. Innes. As the chairman mentioned, in today's draw, we will utilize a random selection method to choose the 21 names of former Petrin employees. These persons will be in the second group of applicants to be allocated the promised residential lots, which are situated in the Guaguari area at La Savan and Neustrace. The role of a minister is key to ensuring government policy is clearly articulated and effectively executed. In order, in order to achieve national development goals. We are grateful to have the minister here with us today. I now invite the Honorable Camille robinson Regis, the Minister of Housing and Urban Development, to deliver the feature address. Please welcome Minister robinson Regis to the lectern. Thank you very kindly, Paige. Mrs. Claire Davidson Williams, Permanent Secretary of the Ministry of Housing and Urban Development. Mrs. Nirmala Ramlogan, Deputy Permanent Secretary. <coughs> Mr. Wayne Innes, <coughs> sorry, Chairman of the Land Settlement Agency. Mr. Hazar Hussain, CEO of the Land Settlement Agency. Mr. Nicholas Hunt, Senior Manager Petrotrin, Ms. Therese Austin, International and Policy Liaison Officer, Ministry of Energy and Energy Industries, members of staff of the Ministry of Housing and Urban Development, members of staff of the Ministry of Energy and Energy Industries, members of the media, ladies and gentlemen. It is often said that a promise is a comfort to a fool. This is made even worse when the promise is one that is not fulfilled, as citizens lose faith and do not believe in promises that are made. It is today, though, that we are standing on the right side of history, 
fulfilling a promise this government led by the Honorable Keith Rowley made, as has been said before, to former employees of the Petroleum Company of Trinidad and Tobago Limited, Petrotrin. When the company was restructured four years ago, this promise was made and hopefully in so doing, by today's draw, we are indicating that we are about keeping the promises that were made. In December 2018, the Honorable Prime Minister announced in Parliament that as a means of cushioning the impact of government's decision to restructure Petrotrin, government would, amongst other things, provide land to its former employees not already in possession of this valuable asset. In March 2020, the Cabinet approved the policy framework for the distribution of residential lots and or agricultural plots to former employees who received termination benefits resulting from the closure of the Petrotrin refinery and re the restructuring of the exploration and production arms of Petrotrin. In a fair and transparent process, government received 2,816 applications from these employees for residential lots. Of these, 1,493 persons indicated that they did not already own land. Consequently, on September 7th, 2021, a transparent and event similar to this, the Land Settlement Agency conducted a live draw where the names of 70 of those eligible applicants were drawn for residential lots. After the requisite due diligence, I am pleased to report that 38 of those persons moved on to the next stage and selected their lots at a ceremony in Point Fortin on May 10th, 2022. And now, less than three months later, we are here again to select another 21 beneficiaries for 21 residential lots located between La Savanne and Nurse Trey Squire Guayari. These lots were developed to a ready-to-build state at a cost of approximately $166,000 per lot. As you are undoubtedly aware, it takes time and money to develop land, and so not everyone can be allocated lots at the same time. The Ministry of Housing and Urban Development through the LSA is working assiduously and is currently at varying stages of development of lots at La Romaine 2, Woodford Lodge 2, Chaguanas, La Philippine 2, Grand Coover, Ponderosa, Golconda, Glenroy 2, Princess Town, and Guapo in point 14. Recognizing the enormity of the challenge ahead, the cabinet has also approved the sourcing of residential lots from the HDC, and these lots are from within Greenfield or new developments, lots from the EMBDC, which are surplus lots from 22 estates leased to Carony 1975 Limited, and these are to be made available to the general public, lands vested in Heritage Petroleum Company Limited are also to be used, and lands belonging to PSAEL, and those are the lands or assets managed or owned by PSAEL. Ladies and gentlemen, to the eligible applicants who are not chosen today, I ask for your continued patience. 
your names will go back into the pool for the next draw and for every other draw until we have satisfied ourselves and you that we have fulfilled our obligation to you and our promise to you. As you are aware, to be eligible, former employees of Petrotrin must have received termination notices and of course, must not already have any land registered in their names. As a government trading on the watchwords of equity and transparency, we have adhered to the cabinet decision approving the distribution of these lots. For continued transparency, the names of the 21 applicants selected today to receive these lots from this second row will be published in the daily newspapers in the upcoming days. Additionally, the results of this random live draw for the distribution of lots are subject to further verification. They will therefore be reconciled against the land registry at the Office of the Registrar General and other databases such as those of the HDC and the LSA. The public too is encouraged to submit any information about land ownership of selected applicants, any queries, queries sorry, or concerns to the LSA via email. Applications by persons who are discovered to be already owners of land will be automatically disqualified. Eligible selected persons can be expected to be contacted within six weeks after publication of the official advertisement of the results of today's draw in order to continue the process. In closing, therefore, I thank you all again for being here. I thank you to those of you who are viewing live. Thank you to the management and staff of the LSA and the, the staff of the Ministry of Housing and Urban Development for the work that was put in to ensure that we had this event. I think, ladies and gentlemen, that this is a fitting way to continue our celebration of the 60th anniversary of our country's independence. Thank you, and may God continue to bless Trinidad and Tobago. Thank you, Minister Robinson Regis, for your remarks, which reinforce the government's commitment to the former employees of Petrotrin, giving them access to these residential lots to construct their own homes with assistance from the state. Now we've come to the highly anticipated and eagerly awaited draw for the potential beneficiaries of the Petrotrin residential lots. And this is where it gets really exciting. The beneficiaries who are viewing live from their homes are now anxiously waiting to see if their reference number is selected in today's draw. Remember, if you are not successful today, there are seven other sites that have been earmarked for development. So you will still have an opportunity to be selected for one of these lots in our future draws. In keeping with our commitment to transparency and reinforcing some of what both Minister and Mr. Innes have already said, I will explain the process used to select today's 21 applicants. A micro database with a pool of 1,400 applicants would have already been screened to verify that the applicant does not own or part own any land and have met all of the criteria for this draw. Today, this information will be used to randomly select 21 names from the pool of applicants for the serviceable lots located at La Servan and Nurse Trace in Guayaguayari. For our viewers, each application has been assigned a unique reference number which will be shown on the screen as they are selected. An auditor from Bisham Singh and Company would have verified the pool of applicants prior to the draw taking place this afternoon and will validate that the 21 applicants being randomly selected today have been chosen from this pool of applicants. At the end of the draw, 
The auditor and the two approved witnesses will sign a report that's generated at the end of this process. The reference numbers and the names of the applicants will be published in today's or in the daily newspapers in the coming weeks. So now, ladies and gentlemen and our viewers, we go to our live draw. Just some important information to be shared while the draw is taking place. Remember that in order to qualify for the program, applicants must be citizens or residents of the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago. An ex-employee who received termination benefits resulting from the closure of the refinery and restructuring of exploration and production in 2018. And a first-time homeowner. The Land Settlement Agency received approximately 3,000 applications for the program. Title searches for 1,400 applicants have been completed thus far to determine the landlessness of the applicants. In addition to La Savanne and Nurse Trace in Guayaguayari, there are seven other sites currently earmarked for the program. They are located at Glenroy 2 in Princess Town, Alambi Street in San Fernando, La Romaine 2 in La Romaine, Felicity 2 in Shabonas, sites A and B. La Philippine 2 in Grand Coover and Ponorosa in Golconda. Congratulations to Mr. Stapleton. The residential lots being offered are approximately 5,000 square feet, with all of the required infrastructure and statutory approvals free of charge to recipients, and will be leased to beneficiaries for a period of 199 years. The program utilizes the Ministry of Housing and Urban Development's existing aided self-help housing approach. As such, the LSA will provide pre-approved house plans, technical assistance and oversight for the construction of the houses, and the Trinidad and Tobago Mortgage Finance Company, TTMF, will provide subsidized loans for eligible applicants requiring mortgage facilities to construct their homes. So folks, we have our 21 winners. And we wish to offer them our sincere congratulations. So I will announce the names. Akua Howe, Mr. Rodney Ganga Pasad, Alana Bob, Mr. Steve Rajpol, Rayan Cardinal, Clifton Valentine, Jerrin Ferdinand, Garin Ferdinand, Andre Guevaro, Kenneth Peters, Colin Lewis, Anthony Stapleton, Andy Marcano, Dale Lambert, Anita Hardio, Jason Jadu, Rosanna Sanichar, Louis Davis, Boniface Gross, Rennie Roberts, Roger Richards, and Richard Figaro. Congratulations to all of our winners. Congratulations to the successful applicants. Ladies and gentlemen, that brings us to the end of today's proceedings, to our specially invited guests, to members of the viewing public, and to you, our lucky beneficiaries. Thank you all, and we wish you happiness in your new homes.